Alan, congratulations. Fantastic win. You made six changes to the team and it worked, didn't it? It did. And I, I can bet you a million dollars that every single person out there thought I was writing the game off. And I said that to the lads, that's what people would be thinking. But I wasn't at all, I just needed fresh legs. The lads had been on a little bit of a downward spiral and then they picked themselves up, they worked ever so hard to get the result against Chester. And the same lads again worked so hard down, down at Gloucester. Yes, we never got the result we wanted, but they worked ever so hard and it was a perfect game to freshen them up. You've got to remember these had the weekend off. Mm. So if I'd played the same lads again, we would have been chasing shadows, like the gated game, because mm. these are full-time. So it had to be done and the lads that come in were outstanding. I thought they worked great, they, they bought into it. We didn't go chasing lost causes as an individual. We went as units. And, mm. uh, we were, and the only thing is, I said to them at the end, of the thing that's bugging me is, when we can defend and do things as a unit like that in two blocks or four, how, how come sometimes it only takes one ball that does us? And it's probably when we're in possession, we're, we're most vulnerable. Hmm. So we need to work on that. That's something I have spotted in the most recent weeks, but it's something that we need to really work on. But I'm delighted with the last tonight. How can you not be? It's, it's a fantastic result, and to do the double over failed is some achievement yeah. it's, it's even better than the winner practically isn't it early on in the season oh without a doubt for me this, this is probably one of the best performances we've done since I've been here in all honesty I can't remember them having many mm. clear cut chances I thought Alex Story come in, he's been left out of the team for a while he, outstanding tonight a little bit of rustiness in the, in the shape to start off when you could see it but brilliant Alex Perver Griff come back in Junior <laughs> Junior's work rate tonight was phenomenal alongside Jared Kev, Kev decided <laughs> fucking say a good Kev, what a goal that was. Mm. But no, I could go through every single player in the day and just so proud of them and they fully deserved that. Jake Lawler as well, he scored the first goal. I mean, what a, what a terrific header. But mind you, he, he could even have had a penalty just before as well, couldn't he? It looked a blatant penalty to me. Yeah, I just couldn't see how it wasn't given. He's pulled him down, but it's so weird because <laughs> me, me and Dad, I'm doing the set players on the bus on the way over and I'm... I'm putting Jake in as a blocker because I said he's not attacking things, is he? In the set player, and he goes and puts one. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, it's a, it's a strange old game football, but when it goes well for you, it's a great feeling, and when it goes bad for you, it, it's you've got to enjoy these moments. But listen, we've just got to stay with it, and I know what I've got, and I just remember I kept saying it to the fans. It's just then probably get as frustrated as me watching with sometimes when you know what we've got, and we're not doing it every week. And I'm not asking them to do anything mm. different. So what more can we do as a management team to get the best out of them? We're still working on it, but there's a long way to go, but we're on the right steps now. Mind you, you looked a bit stressed out when they equalised at the start of the second half from that free kick out. We were careless with the ball, let's be fair. I just said to the lads, <laughs> right, like, when are we going to stop conceding goals straight after half-time? Mm. They say everything and they say the right things, and ties give the ball away, a sloppy pass, and... For me, I don't think Wheat has to go to ground. Mm. For me, if he just stands up, you can just shield him. And if the lad turns a centre-half, clatters him and wins the ball. But it's a stupid tackle. And I knew as soon as I seen him mm. on the ball, I fancied he's a, he's a hell of a player. He's probably one of the best players in this league. Without a doubt, he shouldn't be at this level. But he's scored many goals against me, <laughs> against Dolo, against Blythe. Mm. When I've been managing, he's a, he's a top-draw player. But listen, it, it, the lad showed great character again mm. to bounce back. He could easily crumble. But mm -hmm. great character. And, yeah, what a goal by Kev. I'm just going to say, how well did he take that? You know, picked it up over here, just on the left touchline, stepped inside, kept on going and just whacked it in the top <laughs> left corner. And we were going about Luke Charman scoring cracking Dude, goals. Uh, and let's be honest, that was as good. Kev worked his socks off. He was working ever so hard out of possession once we got him understanding on that four side. In here, we know Kev, as I say, we've said many times, last about 60, 70 minutes because he's that high energy. But... What I loved is Will picked the second ball up and he drove forward and then the ball comes out wide and Kev, once he cuts and say, what, a, what an absolute finish because I think in the warm-up, I think he cleared the stand. But <laughs> <laughs> luckily he saved that one for the game. Yeah. Held on after that, some valiant defending at the back mind. Tommy Taylor pulled up yep. a couple of good saves. Ben Headley diverted one somehow away from goal. But <laughs> the lads were chucking themselves at the ball they were putting their bodies on the line, weren't they? Real desire in there, really. and that's all mm. I ask the lads. If they keep doing that, we'll get the results because we've got good footballers in there. And to be able to bring lads like Will Hatfield, Danny Rose, Jay Cassidy mm. onto the pitch, mm. that experience onto the pitch, and help us see that through, it was, it was brilliant to be able to do that. And like, 
it's time with the idea of getting Danny Ellis on as well, but he's got a little, little bit of a cough niggle, so I didn't want to risk it. So, but I thought every single oh man, I can't remember Tommy making many mm. saves. He's, I think Nick's had a, Nick Horton's had a couple of pot shots from out wide, but nothing clear cut that I can remember. So, to do what we're doing here after playing sad, I couldn't be more happy. It's given you plenty of positive things to think about for Saturday's home to Tony, hasn't it? Yeah. Gives loads of problems, really. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a nice problem. Yeah. It's a nice problem rather than trying to find the formula. Um, because everyone knows what, what's required. Well, it, it's nice to have that problem now rather than just the p- team picking itself. But I've said to the lads in now, what I said to them a few weeks ago, it's a, this is a squad game. We still need one or two, don't get to see we're through. But none of these lads will be going anywhere this season and they've got to understand that sometimes I'll take them out and freshen it up because there's some tough games coming up and as I say Chorley haven't played again tonight mm-hmm. so I think they they'll probably haven't played for two weeks by the time we come to play them on Saturday so again after playing tonight they'll be freshened up again on Saturday but it's, it's given me a, <laughs> a big problem <laughs> to try and get it right again.